DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Mixers, happy Sunday. Welcome back to another glorious episode of the Mix and Vixens. I'm Mil Nikon, and we also have JJ, otherwise known as the Flavor Pro, Jennifer Jarvis. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Jen. We have Rin Vapes. Hello, Rin. Hello. And then we've got Jen, the Juice Fairy. How's everybody doing? How was your week this week, guys? It was all right. <laughs> been doing good? I worked. You oh, worked? <laughs> yeah, I worked all week, too. And then I took off on Friday to the beach because, you know, we got a hurricane coming. So you got to go enjoy the beach the weekend before the hurricane hits. You look like you've been enjoying the beach. I did. I did. I had I went actually I went down there Friday night with um one, two, three, four, four girls, and um, my daughter. So <laughs> it was her birthday. It's her birthday today. So Anna's turned 17. You know, it hit me on the way home. Holy crap. This time next year, she won't even be with me. <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be off to college. <laughs> it hit me on the way home when she drove back with one of the friends instead of with me. I was like, this is going to happen a lot in the future. <laughs> But other than that, I just up my nicotine and I'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Has uh, anyone gotten anything new or mixed up anything new this week? This week's recipe was challenging, so that's it. I mean that that took a couple of renditions to get it right or get it get it to where I'm happy with it. I got my new. Did I show you guys this last week? Did I already have it in my little? Um, Sprite. No, I saw it on you did a post on Facebook. I it's did. I'm cute. It looks huge. No, I said it looks cute. It is cute. It's pink. <laughs> it's pink. It's pink. It looks like a Sharpie when you put the lid on it. It fits perfectly in my pen stuff at work. It looks just like a Sharpie. <laughs> and I put it inside my, my, with the rest of my Sharpies. <laughs> just more ways for her to screw around at work mm. winter is <laughs> coming winter is coming and i hate the cold I, I could literally put a sweater on and probably be less cold than i am now my hands are freezing why are your hands cold? freezing because i don't want to turn the heat on yet <laughs> <laughs> you just what? squeak out that last bit of <laughs> it, it's like 62 degrees outside it's cold <laughs> <laughs> it was 92 this afternoon on my way back from Wilmington. I oh, drove wow. back from the island and it was 92 degrees out. I was sweating. It was hotter today than it was yesterday while I was at the beach. Hmm. And the skies are so clear and beautiful and the ocean is so calm. That's how I know it's really coming. <laughs> Everything's calm. So has anyone vaped any uh, mixes that they tickled their fancy this week for yourselves or uh, by someone else no anybody else um <laughs> i i mixed something with forest fruit and some other stuff in it and I, with menthol and ws23 and that's pretty much what i've been vaping on all week <laughs> nice have you got over your vapor's tongue rin um I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I've been vaping the Capella Silver Line Candied Watermelon, and I've been enjoying that. By itself? 
Uh, originally, yes. And then I r- recently added just a touch of the Flavora bubblegum. But yeah. I mean, you can really vape it by itself. It's good. I heard it's really good. I uh, got it, but I haven't tested it out yet. Yeah, someone kept raving about it, so I figured why not. I was just afraid it was going to be just like, because like their sweet watermelon tastes like a candied watermelon to me. So I'm like, okay, is this going to be like the same thing? <laughs> Because, like, I already have their double watermelon and their sweet watermelon. And it's like, how many watermelons do I need? But you it is a little bit different than the watermelons I have. I will say that. You need all the watermelons. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Except <laughs> flavor art watermelon. You don't like that one? And, oh, my God, what was it? One drop watermelon? That was terrible. What was one the one drop. that we all hated? We did that video. I don't like one drop at all. Yeah, I'd either. It, it takes a lot more than one drop. <clears throat> Needs to be one dropped in the garbage. Point. <laughs> 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 okay. One drop. Yeah, one drop right into the garbage. <laughs> so I make well, mine one hundred percent with water. Tap water. Oh yeah, so you turn it in like a little meal. Oh, yeah, I turn it into, into I take the bottle, I turn on the faucet sink, and with tap water, I mix it right in the concentrate bottle and then pour it down the sink. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like what? <laughs> Emily was so lost. <laughs> We're just like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's, let's move on to uh, the picture that was submitted. Who submitted yeah. that one? Who, who did that one? Uh, this one was Andy Smith. Oh, she's on a cruise right now. Andy she's Smith. been posting about it. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Andy, because I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this one. Yeah, I think she even made a, a mix with it. I don't know if she publicized it, but I know that she made one based on the picture to take with her. I'm just glad I took a second look at the picture because at first I thought, just looking at the thumbnail, I thought it was pineapple on the rim. And it would have turned out completely different than it did. So, yeah, but it still would have been good. Eh. Yeah. We'll never know. We'll never know. No. Maybe, maybe there might be another pineapple in the. Oh, deep. I'm sure there probably is. Probably come summertime or springtime, we'll we'll pick a pineapple. Eat one. Do you notice that you're going? Well, I don't know. I don't know how much you mix um, fruits and menthols and, versus bakeries, but I noticed that as soon as I got the whim that the fall was coming, even though it's 92 degrees outside, all of a sudden now all I want is tobaccos and bakeries. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, I'm not normally a fruit person anyway, but when it gets warmer, I definitely want more fruits than, you know, when it gets colder, I want like bakeries and like butterscotch and. Yeah, the darker stuff. Like even my strawberry and cream is like too fruity. (laughs) Weirdo. So who wants to go first? I did it last week. I, I don't know if I want to do that again. You don't want to do that again? I mean, I can. I, I, I'll tell you, I don't really care for what I came up with. Why not? Um, do you, do you like something. bananas? I like bananas, but I have issues with bananas. Like, I almost wanted to cheat and just do the banana nut bread thing, but I'm like, that's really no way like a smoothie at all. <laughs> <laughs> but... You could have put enough cream in it and cheat and used your cheat code. Yeah. I don't know. I tried to stick with it. It's just like I tried to, you know, do the, I don't know. I tried to be creative. That didn't work. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try to do the chocolate because there's chocolate, you know, in there. I was like, no, that, that was absolutely awful. So I don't know. But anyway, um, can't win them all, you know? (laughs) Well, I liked last week. So at least I have that. This yeah, week, not so great. Um, I went a little bit different. Uh, honestly, if you just wanted the the drink that's in the picture, 
uh, which is just kind of like a banana smoothie-ish looking thing. You can just really go with Wonder Flavors banana puree by itself, and it's really good by itself. Um, I didn't want to do that. That's kind of lame. Like, just one flavor. Like, here you go. <laughs> so, um, I added some whipped cream to it just to give it a little bit more thickness and richness. And then for, like, the little coaster or cookie or whatever the hell you want to call that thing underneath, uh, instead of going the chocolate route, which was not working for me at all, uh, I went with the gingerbread because it's getting to be that kind of season. And it could could be a gingerbread, you know, a little bit. So I went that route and then I added a little bit of graham cracker to it to kind of tone down the gingerbread a little bit. Because when I first add just gingerbread, it really just overpowered everything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I got. It's okay. Like I literally just did this rendition because I had to tweak it a little bit today. So maybe with steeping, it'll be better. Uh, but unfortunately, I can't tell you that because I don't have a time machine at the moment. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Time machine. Yeah, I mean, it's coming next week, but, you know, the mail's slow. But anyway, yeah, so, I mean, it might get better. I don't know. It's not terrible like the other ones were. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess we'll just go with this. <laughs> and so you yeah. use the banana pudding. Is that what you use? Puree. Puree. I don't it's think I have that one. banana flavor. Like, it's really good. It's a good, like, authentic. It's not candied at all. It's just, like, a almost a little slightly cooked banana it's really good hmm. yeah i i don't have enough I, I was gonna mess with the vanilla pudding or custard or whatever by vape train a little bit more but since i a i'm a little bit more familiar with the wonder flavors i didn't really want to mess with that anymore i figured i'll save that for another time um so yeah it's one of the very few bananas i try that actually taste more like an authentic banana as opposed to the candied variety and when you mix it in with the creams, it, it creams up and it gets nice and, and thick. Is that is that how that one works? Yeah. Just like a regular banana. So would it be a bakery, one of those winter vapes that I'm going to enjoy now that I you don't want? You can go bakeries and go in creams. It's pretty, pretty versatile. Hmm. Hmm. You try it. It's good. Cool, cool. I don't have it. I'll have to try to put that on my wish list for the next order. I'm actually adding it right now to that wish list. Yeah, I like winter flavors overall so far. Hmm. What did you, what did you, is that your favorite banana other than the banana and the banana nut bread? Um, yeah, I would probably say so. Like for a straight up banana. Because, you know, the banana nut bread as far as I've been able to t tweak it, like it's still got that little bit of a bakery to it. It's hard to take that away. That's why I didn't use it in this because like I was talking to you guys about, I wanted to cheat and just use it. But then again, it would probably end up turning out too much like my banana pudding. So I was like, eh. I guess I could have went that route. Like, hey guys, I came up with this great recipe. It's called banana pudding and just ignore the date. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good recipe that's it's a phenomenal good. recipe it's like yeah. it's really good and i don't say that much about my stuff but that one's really good yeah so for those of you who don't know it's banana put in and it's yeah really good. it's on rin's elr so try yeah, it thank yeah. you shameless plug shameless yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how sweet is the recipe overall not very i don't really like my stuff to be sweet I mean, obviously you can, there's the thing about sweetener, like you could always add it to it. Like it's not really going to change the recipe. It's just going to make it sweeter. I just don't like my stuff sweet. It goes right. like coils and for some reason it makes muting worse for me, especially super sweet. Uh, so I just don't mess with it. But Do you I ever get that, that bitter note from super sweet? I don't get bitter. I, it just mutes. Like I couldn't taste nothing for like couple weeks after I used it hmm. for the first time and last time <laughs> that's when all my issues started this last time is when I was doing a recipe that had it in there and people always give me grief about not mixing stuff the way it's supposed to be mixed so I'm like okay I'm gonna mix it just like it's supposed to be mixed and added that damn super sweet and 
nope. <laughs> your taste buds. I just, there's something in it I can't do. I don't know if it, I don't know what's in there. I know there's like a bunch of stuff like citric acid and. and it's got like malic acid too in it. So it yeah. like, sometimes when you try to do it with creams or bakeries, it can be a little funky. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. Who's next? <laughs> You're done with the focus, huh? You're like, stop focusing on me. Let's move on. Move along. I mean, there's not much to say. It's four ingredients. It's, it's meh. I mean, you win some, you lose some. I'll let you guys know if it gets better as it sits. Sounds good. Sounds good. I don't I don't mind um, going with mine. I didn't write a whole lot of description in mine um, yet because I didn't have time. But, well, I had a whole week, but I did. I always write my stuff last minute with my last taste of it. We all have the same amount of time, Jen. I know, but I left Friday, so. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of ditched. I kind of screwed it around. So, but the recipe is up and I'm here. And that's all that matters. So I use banana cream. That is the banana, TFA banana cream. Whenever I want to make a milkshake of any kind, that's the banana cream that I use every time. Dap or no dap, that is what it is. It's the one I like. And I use it at 5%. That's a pretty standard rate for me. If you look at my past recipe, that's about where I use it at, at 5% when I want it to be the main ingredient. I wanted to make an eggnog out of that mix. So I added Flora eggnog at 1.25. Bear with me. I know that sounds a bit, bit high, but the banana cream is really, really sweet and strong. So with steep, it tones it down some and it brings out those nutmeg notes and the eggnog comes out. And on top of that, I use um, buttercream from Cap. Usually I use butterscotch and I decided to play around with buttercream instead of butterscotch because I didn't want to add too much of anything else since I was going to add chocolate to this mix. But I needed the buttery notes in there for the banana. I always find that banana and cream can benefit from some butter notes and I really thought about going with golden butter but then I again I tossed that idea and decided to go with buttercream just because it's creamier um chocolate glist donut from fa I used that um pretty low at 0 0.50 because like Jarvis has said a couple of times it's like a chocolate gram cookie like the teddy grams that are chocolate so it, it, if I added too much of it, they would have had too much in it. And what I was trying to replicate was like a chocolate chip in the in the eggnog. Um, so I used it low just for the little bit of chips aspect of it, which fade a little bit with steep as well. Lavora eggnog, I used that. At, did I already go over that one? I did. It's a one point. Didn't I go over that one? I did. I, the Flavora bourbon, I used at 0.75%. That's what I did to boost the, the liquor notes. Liquor goes well with chocolate and with the eggnog. So it kind of enhanced both. It popped my chocolate instead of using a sour or a sour note or a lemon note or a bitter note. I used the bourbon to boost the chocolate plus the ruby chocolate, which is the chocolate I chose to enhance the um, chocolate glazed donut of FA has a little bit of a fruity note to it that gets kind of muted with the banana as well. But in combination, the chocolate glazed donut and the ruby don't the ruby chocolate from TFA blend really well. And then vanilla ice cream from FA was pretty much there to round it all off and to blend it. So it's it's supposed to be a sh a smoothie. So it's supposed to all taste like one concise thing with a couple of chocolate chips in it. That's what I came up with. I really want that chocolate glazed donut in my life. Like, it sounds like what I need. <laughs> um, what I want to know is with that ruby chocolate, like how much of that fruity note comes out in that mix? I think it sweetened my banana in a different way. It gave the banana a more...
some spice to the table because I really thought about adding um, some sort of cinnamon something to it. And then I was like, no, it's already it's already spicy enough with the eggnog. I don't know if it boosted the eggnog spices or if it just actually brought some spice to the table. So you said you did a, a couple of different variations of this? Yes, because I couldn't get the chocolate right. Yeah. So I had the chocolate a lot higher, then a lot lower, then it just didn't. Without the glazed donut, the ruby was just melting in too much. The chocolate glazed donut gave it a little bit of separation, a little bit of bakery in there. Kind of more gave it the chips, like a little bit of the separation. So yeah. That was a little bit difficult, adding the chocolate and not making it a banana chocolate smoothie. So do you agree that with JJ that the uh, flavor art chocolate glazed donut is like um, a chocolate like Teddy Graham like, or like an Oreo cookie type? Yeah, it's like it's, it is. It, oh, you know, with Cipolla, Cipolla will make it more into a donut. But without it, it's more in the cookie side. Yeah, or, like a you know, cookie or a cakey kind of cookie. Well, or those cake donuts that they sell. Yep. Those chocolate cl cake donuts. Maybe that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have a lot of the glazed part to it. Like, I don't get a lot of frosting out of it. If I really wanted to boost that, I'd have to add, like, powdered sugar or something to it. Do you think you could make, like, an Oreo-type mix out of it? Or is it too fluffy for that? It, it's not the right kind of chocolate for Oreo. Yeah. Oreo has a very distinct chocolate note that you have to have and it doesn't have it that's why it's more like a chocolate teddy graham rather than a, an oreo cookie yeah like it's a light it's a chocolate for sure but it's a cross between a a milk chocolate and a regular chocolate it's kind of like a cross between the two cool but it's yummy it's it's a really yummy chocolate it, which is surprising for me <laughs> yeah that's it's it's hard to do chocolates good. So when you hear that there's a decent one out there, I definitely, next time I order flavors, it's definitely going in, in my bag. Yeah. Like for, for sure. Like when I use, if I want a chocolate donut, I use this, the Bola and some, um, TFA, the Ruby chocolate. I mean, it just that those three together, it'll kill your coils, but I mean, it's, it makes a good chocolate donut. <laughs> Add a little bit of nuts to that. Mm. Awesome. What is? What do you guys have up your sleeves? Who wants to go next? I'll go next if Emily wants to go last. Sure. All righty. James, put my recipe up, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I looked at that and I was like. I don't think the chocolate Teddy Graham flavor is going to work for that brittle that's underneath there. That needs to be a darker chocolate. And I'm like, I don't want to work with darker chocolate. So I'm not eating that while I, <laughs> while I'm tasting this. You will pass on the coaster. <laughs> I will pass on the coaster and I'm going to pass on the garnish too. All I'm looking at is that drink and, and the stuff around the outside. So I decided I wanted to play with some pumpkin just because I'm going to be making pumpkin cake recipe at some point anyway. I thought I would give the Flavor Revolutions pumpkin cake a try ahead of time. And I thought I'd mix it up with the uh, Flavora's eggnog. And I just did those both at 1% just to... Because I figured eh, eh, this may not be super strong. And the eggnog, I want it to actually taste like eggnog with the pumpkin spice and the pumpkin flavor. So I want that to be a little more prominent. So I went with 1%. 1.25% may actually be where it ends up going because I may tweak it a little after this one has steeped for 10 days. Uh, but it's not quite steeped out yet and the pumpkin is still pretty strong. What I'm glad happened was that the pumpkin cakey part, which I get out of the bottle, was able to be toned down with the cream of the eggnog and the I put a little bit of creamy undertone, uh, milky undertone in there just to bump up that milky note and some flavor cream. So I brought the creaminess out rather than the cakey part of the flavoring. A little bit of rich cinnamon, I just like a drop 
a little bit more like a big drop <laughs> is about all I put in the 30 mil tester and like two drops of smooth vanilla. It was really low for both of those, but they have so much flavor. That's really all you need. Um, my eggnog, I feel the flavor of eggnog just needs extra vanilla because it's not quite vanilla enough mm-hmm. for real eggnog. Yeah, it's got the spice down, but it does need a little bit, a little bit of booster in the vanilla. Yeah. Yeah, so I added the creams and a little bit of vanilla, and it came out very delightful. It tastes like pumpkin eggnog. Like, it, it's got just enough pumpkin note to it that it's not overpoweringly pumpkin, and it tastes like a commercial thing like you would get from Starbucks, maybe. So that was all I did. I like it. I'm hoping at 10 days, it will the pumpkin will pull down enough into it. If not, I may adjust it a little. How long has it steeped so far? Uh, about four days. Yeah, I put that mine should steep for 14 days. Not because mine has already steeped 14 days, but because I know that the banana cream needs about 14 days. Yeah. I, I find eggnog needs about t- at least 10. I 14 if you want to let it really steep better. A month if you're like me. <laughs> right. <laughs> So this is the first I've ever seen or heard about Flavor Revolution's pumpkin cake. Is how like pumpkiny is it? Is it more spice? Just the spice from it, and then the cake. There's pumpkin. There is pumpkin in it. It's like <clears throat> it's not quite as pumpkiny as pumpkin pie. It is definitely more the pumpkiny of a pumpkin cake. And this is one that you've made with a can of the Jiffy or whatever, whatever brand that is of. Uh, that pumpkin Libby's, that's what it is, Libby's pumpkin cans, which is essentially butternut squash because they're cheap. And <laughs> so you've got a definite squashy pumpkin note in there. Uh, you, you have a nice spice too, because it's kind of like spiced cake. So got those nice all spice um, nutmeg and cinnamon notes, which work well with the eggnog notes. And where did you pick that that flavoring at that? Um, at that other company's website. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to even say them as a competitor to somebody who sponsors us? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say it. Okay. I found it at Nicotine River. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't normally order from them. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can get some flavor revolutions from someplace else as well, possibly chefs. Got it. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. That's funny that you're like that other company. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if we're allowed to, <laughs> to talk of competitors with our sponsors. We have. We have. We've done it before. Not a, I don't think they'll strangle us for that. However, if Bull City Flavors wants to start carrying it, I will definitely order it from them. <laughs> and And what... Do they have other good flavors? I, that's the only one I got from them. I didn't try any of the other ones. I got a bunch of the pure flavors. And I picked that one up just like random. Like, I'm going to try pumpkin. <laughs> so let's try their pumpkin cake. Yeah, just like watermelon. you got to have them all. Because you got to know which ones are not much. to use. Pretty much with pumpkin. You're not trying to find which one you do like. You're trying to find out which ones not to order again. <laughs> Pretty you much. buy small of those. Yep, that, yeah. that's why I did. I got just like a little 10 mil. I went down the whole pumpkin spice rabbit hole the first year I started mixing. It was such a mistake. I wish that that I had known what how horrible these flavors were when I first started going. Because, I mean, I didn't know that how bad flavors could be. And you think, oh, it says pumpkin spice. It's, it's, it'll be fine. No. Mm. It, there's, there's no, it's so- not fine. So many more bad ones, and there are good ones when it comes to like that flavor. I'm aligning my antennas. Who was it that said that last week? It looks like I've got antennas with. <laughs> so I just aligned my my <laughs> camera so that it looked like I have antennas going out the top of my head. <laughs> Not just antennas, you got lit up antennas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a sparkly fairy you just need some wings <laughs> anyhow Emily are you almost ready for us 
Where'd you go? Um, right here. Emily's okay, right there. You are. Right there. Right, right. I couldn't see you. I couldn't see oh. you. Oh. Um. Yeah. So, I called mine Nanornog. And uh, I used for my banana note. I used uh, Vape Train's banana custard because I've started liking it more than TFA banana cream. It's like just a really good banana cream flavor. And, you know, I just felt like putting butterscotch in, like butterscotch and bananas is such a good combination. So I stole, <laughs> I stole Chiba Stiba's butterscotch combo that he used in his banana butterscotch frozen custard, which by the way, if you like butterscotch and banana, mix it up. I even put it in my description. So I stole his combo of 2% Flavora Butterscotch and 3% Flavor West Butterscotch Ripple. And then for the eggnog part, I did 1% Flavora Cream, uh, 1% Flavora Eggnog, and then 1.5% Wonder Flavors Vanilla Cream Extra. Um, just to, like JJ said, to give it a little bit more body, a little bit more vanilla, a little more um, unctuousness unctuousness if you will but uh it turned it turned out really good in fact unless i su really surprise myself in the next couple weeks this is gonna be what's gonna be in the competition so boys mix it up so it steeps <laughs> it's i really like it it's just it's just a, a good it's really sweet and it's really rich and it's just a good it's a good mix i like it I Jake. bet it is rich with all that, with the Flavor West Butterscotch Ripple and the Florida Butterscotch. Yeah, it's right in my alley. This is the kind of stuff I like. Yeah, it looks good. It looks like it's going to be right up my winter alley, too. And then I just ignore the chocolate part. The coaster, like JJ yeah, did. Yeah, and I understand <laughs> I didn't want things to be that, and, and I, I thought oh. it was it wasn't easy. Sorry, I don't. I didn't get any of that. I don't know if anybody else did. Nope, sure did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> she, she's speaking Graham. I can't. <laughs> Is it my yeah, internet that's messed up? Yeah, I yeah. think so. So just pause, rewind, repeat. <laughs> Is that better? No? Yeah, I hear you fine now. Okay. Just checking, because it looks like I have all my bars. Yeah, you're, you're good now. So just, what, what did you say? I don't even remember, because now I got distracted and I have ADD. That's true, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Well, we got through those really fast. I remember now that you say that. See, that's all you had to say was that we got through those really fast. I said it was not easy doing the chocolate. That was like really difficult trying to balance that chocolate in and it not taking over and it not being the main note. It was just Chocolate's not easy. Tough. It mm -hmm. wants to be the main note. It, like chocolate wants to be a bully. It does. Even at, no matter how low you go, yeah. you can pick it out. There's even some vanillas that have chocolate notes in them. So yeah, um, I, I just thought, you know what, instead of chocolate, I'll be a rebel and I'll put some butterscotch in it. It's really good. I mean, the chocolate is at the bottom. It's not in it. It does, I yeah. mean, other than the rim, but you know, the way I thought about it was if I'm drinking it and if it's rimmed in it, you're going to taste that first before you taste the vanilla, before you taste. The, so I try to replicate that. If you taste the chocolate strongly, you know what I mean? Because you would taste it on the way in. Mm hmm. Just justify your mix as much as you want. Because it's right on the rim. <laughs> my theory and I'm sticking to it. That's right. Oh, we lost JJ. 
I think she wanted to be lost. Yeah. No, I'm still here. My camera went wonky. Oh, okay. They were talking about your drip tip in chat. Reminds you of a candy cane. Of a candy cane? Yeah, because isn't it like white with like red specks in it? I thought it looks orange on my side. Oh. <laughs> well, we... <laughs> we might find out if she comes back. <laughs> Yeah, I lost. I lost YouTube on mine, so now I'm putting it on my phone so I can see what the chat is talking about. Um, do you have any? Does the chat have any questions that you could see, Emily? Uh, how, how many people do we have watching, anyways? Fifty-five. Yes. Yeah, so sorry. Did you guys hear that? He likes banana custard. Yeah, it still reminds you of a candy cane, like oh, those special flavor ones. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Acrylic yeah, ribbons. The, the yeah. That's pretty. <laughs> it's... I like it. Oh, yeah, it, it is red. And the fun thing was on it, it said uh, M R S. Mrs. <laughs> oh, cool. And <laughs> Graham says, yeah, it's a jawbreaker color. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it sounds like it. Um, cool. Do you guys have um, anything? Any? Did you guys have you guys placed any flavor orders? Any equipment orders? Anything new? Anything you guys saw on sale this weekend? I'm waiting for my Bull City flavor order to come in. I, I picked up the Bait Train Golden Syrup and a couple other things from Bait Train. I love Golden Syrup. It's so good. While I was at the beach, I actually interviewed two of these 17-year-olds to ask them why kids are jeweling. <laughs> <laughs> I did. My daughter was like, Mom, don't do this. Mom, Mom, don't do this. I was like, I gotta know. I gotta know. What's the deal, guys? Come on, tell me about it. And they, they're, They've they got some serious logic on it. I mean, I, I, want, I want to write it all down because it was a lot of information that they gave me, but you know, they like there's some of them were 18 already and some of them were 16. And I and one of the main questions I asked them was um, if you guys were not if you let's say vapor did not exist, let's say it did not exist at all and there were no jewels pods, there were no vapor products. Do you think there would be more kids in your school smoking? Unanimously, they all said unanimously. And I, I said, why? And you know what their answer is? The same answer we have. They said, because buying cigarettes is so much easier. It's very hard for us to buy jewels. It's very hard for us to buy vapor products. But if, every gas station has cigarettes. not to. So they want to do what they you know, aren't supposed to do. It's just what kids do. And they legit said that it gives them a buzz. Of course it does. It's like 50 milligrams of nicotine. <laughs> frozen or are you guys frozen? It's my internet. Yeah, you're frozen. I thought she was like waiting for us to respond. I was yeah, like, I'm okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Yeah, Blue sent me some of their um their pod systems or whatever. Like they have a new one. Trying to look, I think I have it over here. Huh? Is it is it a pot like a pod system or is it like the disposable jobbers? Uh, I'll show you what it looks like. I don't have like I only have one other pod device, so I'm not very familiar with them. But it's not like they're old, just like where it's a pen and you suck on it. Like they actually come apart and you put in different flavors or whatever. I want to try that uh, the V God Stig disposable ones. Oh yeah, and it just has like these little cartridges. What? But I got like the twenty five one, thinking okay, it's in a pod system, so maybe it'll be like less strong. It's still strong as hell. <laughs> yeah. Can you refill it, or are they closed? 
they I, I reached out to them because they also sent me these uh salt nick thingies. They're just they they look like regular e-liquid. And I'm like, okay, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? And I was like, do you guys have like systems for this or this is this just for like you know people that have their own? And they're like, yeah, we have our own system or whatever. They didn't send that to me. So I have to use the one I have for that. But yeah, I guess they have yeah. both now. Hmm. Is that pod systems are just such a thing? Like, and I have a, the the me pod is the only one I use, and I like it just for it's just they're so convenient. And you're you're out somewhere and you don't want to fiddle with dripping or or messing with tanks and stuff. You just stealth vaping, you know, whatever. Well, the girls, um, the girls I was hanging out with for sure said that they that their friends that started vaping. They said two years ago they, everybody was using regular mods, and up to last year, and then the jewels came out, and now they even said that that there are. So it's true, there are jewel pods all over on campus. There are jewel pods where people just flick them out, kind of like like cigarette butts were. So that could be a huge problem for us at the end of the day, you know? So I told them about different refillable pods and I even showed them mine. I was like, look, you guys can look like you're walking around with a Sharpie, you know? <laughs> I mean, tips and stuff. They huh? thought mine was too big. So I was like, you know, you got the suit. You know, they're 17. They're going to be 18 before the end of this year. And if, if they told me straight up that they would be smoking if they weren't vaping, then then I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about it. I don't want them smoking. I don't want any of those kids smoking, but Jules definitely 50 milligrams of nicotine. I told them that's not necessary. I, I've been enjoying mixing for pod systems, especially since. No. Yeah. I think she's just... you guys ever smoked before. I have to. <laughs> I, what? I, I found that Duome, uh, Filipino mango works really well for pods. Oh yeah, it's nice and strong. In, in a one twenty mil, it takes a drop. Wow, <laughs> one drop from oh, that yeah. bottle. Duome is like the stuff that other companies yeah. use to make their flavors, right? So it's super. Uh, and super now, I for my friend, I blended it with some peach and a couple other mangoes and and uh, a little bit of vanilla just to smooth it out. But uh, I put a little bit of TFA smooth in it because I, if you're if you're going to use pods and you have any kind of respiratory issues, it seems that a little bit of smooth, even with smooth Nick salts, will help smooth it down. Um, she was actually diagnosed recently with COPD, so we were trying we're trying to get her off smoking. I'm mixing her 25 milligram. and I found the the ones that I use smooth with she was able to tolerate better. So I tried MTS Vape Wizard, and that wasn't quite enough to smooth the tobaccos that I gave her down. So I, I'm thinking of adding just a touch of triacetin straight to those bottles that I made her already. And that's what I'm trying with some other tobaccos. But you can either use TFA Smooth or just order straight TFA triacetin and add just a little bit, like 0.2%, if that, 0.1% into a recipe for a pod and it will smooth your stuff out why is it harsh on a pod is it because you have to mix higher or the um yeah the nicotine amount is higher your pg overall amount it tends to be higher just because of the amount of flavoring that you're using which that one drop of duome with the other mangoes and stuff that i used just bumped it up so much more that it came over the nicotine because that's really what you're aiming for. When you're mixing high nicotine, you're trying to mask that taste. So you you got to load enough flavoring in there to do that. But that's why you have to go less complicated. Less flavorings, higher percentages. Yeah. Either higher percentages or stronger flavors. So what, what nicotine level were you mixing for the pods in? Uh, 25 milligram. 25? Yep. I'm at about, a well, I'm vaping at a 12. Out of my pod. Well, this this is for my friend who's coming down from thirty cigarettes a day. So, oh, crap. Yeah, she yeah. needed the twenty five milligram. <laughs> yeah, when I got my husband back off cigarettes, I was using standard nicotine. I wasn't using salt. Are you using salts? Yeah, I got the I 
I finished off the rest of my new nicotine smooth salts. I have to figure out where I'm ordering more, if I'm going to order more from them, because it takes a month to get here. <laughs> right. I just I just use regular nicotine. I find that the salts kill the coils fast, too. Probably um, why pods come so small. I, I'm thinking I, I'm going to do some 12 milligram or... 15 milligram regular nicotine for something like what you've got there for that kind of pod because I think that would do her just as well as as the Nick salts at a higher level on little pods because I gave her I gave her one that I got for a uh, free sample that uh, I can't use because it's nickel coils <laughs> yeah I can't I, I've been I've been emailing everybody to find out what kind of coils they have because I do have nickel allergies as well I have it down to I have I have narrowed it down to about five or six different pods that actually take canthal coils. So I'm extremely happy that that there are, there are a few out there out there some yeah. options out there. And now I they have one that takes. The <laughs> You're laggy. Oh, the it's okay. Like, ah! There's one out there that what. <laughs> I, I went around my house and made sure nobody was on the internet because this is so abnormal for my internet to be laggy like this. And have, have you turned it off and turned it back on lately? Like unplug the power from it and replugged in your modem. That way yeah. you reset it. You should probably reset your modem at some point. I will do that, that tonight. That it might help you. Show. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do that every now and then. It just has, you have to reset that modem and it, starts running again like it gets clogged up or something yeah i'll do that as soon as we're done no everybody has said they're not on the internet so <laughs> that means after the show i can do that and they won't cry so i guess we've hit the point of the show where we have nothing left to talk about <laughs> well well in my internet my internet hasn't helped any so what's next week's picture I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, let's let's show next week. Next week's is um, it's a fall picture. Oh, While yeah. we're waiting on that. I did want to explain something just in case you guys are confused. Uh, we did have to change the thumbnail of the episode, so it's not going to be your exact picture. Just in case there's any kind of copyright, so that's why they look a little different. But we will still show your picture when we're, you know. Going yeah, over Facebook and on the show, and it'll be your picture, but for the thumbnail for YouTube, we want to be, you know, we want to do politically right. correct. Yeah, we so, don't want our videos pulled down because YouTube has decided we've copywritten somebody and we get a copyright strike. Then we all disappear. Yeah, so we're also we gonna try to tag you in Facebook, just yeah. so you know, because there was one person that had no idea we mixed their item and kept posting it. I'm like dude, like we did this, <laughs> but like you wouldn't know just by looking at the thumbnails and whatnot. So yeah, that's what we're going to try to do is tag you. So, you know, uh, that we did it. Sounds good. So as you can see our, our next week's picture, it's, it leaves more to the imagination. It's a little more abstract. It's just an autumn theme. And I'm feeling more pumpkin coming out. <laughs> and we'll see. It'll be it'll be interesting to see what everyone does. Or apple spice something. <laughs> it could be some sort of warm tea. Ah. Yeah. Mm. Or tobacco. Yeah. Could be a tobacco. There you go, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Pumpkin tobacco? I don't think I've ever tried that. No. I don't know if pumpkin and tobacco. It, it could work. It could be a pumpkin tobacco. It could be just a tobacco. A leafy <laughs> tobacco, yeah? <clears throat> yeah, excuse me. I haven't tried flavor a carrot. It was in tobacco. I wonder how that might come out. <laughs> Ooh, I don't that doesn't sound that. good. <laughs> flavor carrot's just so raw. <laughs> like, yeah, but, you know, no. they do have they do have um, carrot beer so why wouldn't a carrot beer work maybe I, I think the aromas in it can work with a tobacco 
but I think it has to be more of a fruity light tobacco that'll work with it. Hmm. Anyhow, they'll have a good surprise next week. Could be anything. Yeah. All right, well, let's, uh, let's thank our sponsors and get on out of here. Sounds good to me. Since I'm still lagging, I hear myself. I hear you guys lagging, and I know it's me. It keeps telling me my internet is unstable. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Bull City and e no Express. Problem. Did you guys hear that? No problems. Yeah, so <laughs> my, my Google Home thought I was talking to it. I'm not thinking you. <laughs> I'm um, <laughs> thinking our sponsors. Gosh, Easting Express and Bull City, uh, Flavora, and of course all the flavors for hooking us up with our our membership. Thank you so much, and everybody enjoy the rest of what's left of your weekend. Have a good day. Night. Bye.